Sarah Palin steps down as governor of Alaska tomorrow at a picnic in Fairbanks, but her poll numbers are already steadily dropping. In today's early line, we ask, is Sarah Palin a viable future candidate for the GOP? Joining us to tackle that one in Washington this morning, Republican strategist Babe Buchanan and David Frum, former speechwriter for George W. Bush, also the founder of thenewmajority.com, and with us here in the New York studio, author Ann Coulter. Good to have all of you with us this morning. Uh, Bay, I'd like Thank to you. begin with you. I know that in the past you've been a very vocal supporter sure. of Governor Palin. Alan. Moving forward, though, as a Republican strategist, if she came to you and said, I want to continue my political career, what kind of future does she have? She's hurt herself badly if indeed she wants to run for president of the United States, Erica. I, as much as I'm crazy about her and think she's enormously talented, she's done two things in the last six months which I think has damaged her opportunity, and that is she hasn't really gotten herself an expertise on the issue. She comes down to the lower 48 unprepared for the media, in my personal opinion, with kind of trite responses to their questions. And secondly, she's quit. Quitting is not a good thing. It'll hurt her badly in the long run, makes her less elected. And, and quitting has been, as much as she's tried to avoid that label, Anne, that has really stuck with her since the resignation was announced on July 3rd. But you're convinced she can overcome that? Um, yeah, I don't necessarily disagree with Bay on the first point. I don't know that Sarah Palin wants to run for president, but um, she's already a bigger story than the president of the United States. There were two stories yesterday. For the first time, this Mr. Popularity, President Obama's popularity, public approval ratings fell below 50 percent for the first time. Mm -hmm. And a former vice presidential candidate, Sarah Palin's public approval ratings fell to 40%. What was the big story? She, so she's already bigger than Obama. She attracts a crowd. Um, but she's attracting has, a crowd enough because, as Bay said, she needs to ha get, gain some expertise, and that was her criticism. Sure, but I think so that's why you, she quit. That's why I think those two criticisms are mutually contradictory. I mean, she's up there. She's had, what, 17, 18 ethics complaints filed against her. Everybody wants her to speak for them. Everyone wants to attack her, and she has her hands tied behind her back because she has to be governor, so not only in terms only, of fundraising. So this is the only way she could do it to have a future is to step back and, and focus on and, David, but she's too big to be stuck in a governor's office up in Alaska. David, is she too big to be stuck in a governor's office? I'm going to give you a two-parter. And, and if she wants to move beyond that governor's office, how does she get the expertise that Bay mentioned she needs, specifically in, let's say, things like foreign policy? Uh, Michael Jackson is also a bigger story than the president of the United States, but the American people aren't going to vote for him. Um, look, she's 45 years old. If she hasn't got the, if she's been the governor of a state. If she hasn't got the expertise, she's never going to get it. Uh, basically, quitting for the stated reason that you can't get anything done in your job and because you're, you can't fit, endure the criticism you're receiving, and then cashing in in order to make a lot of money is not a good resume with which to run for president of the United States. She was a calamitous candidate in October of 2008. We've never seen poll numbers for anybody decline as fast, for any national candidate, decline as fast as they did for Sarah Palin. The more the American people know her, the more unacceptable she became, and that trend's going to continue. Bay, the GOP seems to be split in many ways. Sarah Palin does have a very strong following among the conservative base, but within the party, there seems to be a lot of division as to support. Would she be a help, though, to the party if she didn't, say, look at elected office, but maybe went for something like fundraising? Well, we, we already have Ann Coulter. We don't need two. Um, Ann, does an excellent, Ann does an excellent job, um, and, and uh, this would merely be a copycat. Well, let me Look, do an excellent job on this. The M Michael Jackson comparison is silly, David. Uh, Sarah Palin is not, not a singer. All. These are but both politicians. She's to less say talented. that the poll you know, ratings of, the, of, of, of Obama when every night the news well, is starting with that. Well, let's put the focus this morning. The focus this morning, Ann, the focus, though, is Sarah Palin. So let's stay with her. But that's how big she is. Apparently, she's getting ready or everybody wouldn't be constantly talking about her. She has an ineffable quality. People are attracted to her, and she's a quick study. She can learn if she wants to, and I you know, totally disagree that this is bad for her to quit. Go ahead. Thank she's already done you. everything um, she needs to do. She turned over no, the governorship to the lieutenant governor, who's a fantastic and right winger. And, and you know, you know she had a, there's a commitment you make when you run for elected office, and that is to the voters that you're going to be there in office fighting for them for that period of time. She broke that trust. That is extremely That's harmful. That's absolutely That's false. The one. voters of Alaska and, and, are delighted with what uh, she no, did no, but, because but they're but sick of cheat. these investigations. And, 
And I have run campaigns. I'll tell you, you have somebody who quits. And what you do is tell the people, she, you can't trust that person but you can to stay say in that, there babe, for them. You can say that in and, a Washington and, studio. We know that the Alaska voters wait, do not wait, feel wait, that wait, way. Wait, so if you're talking about Alaska, a commitment to the I'm voters, gonna jump in here. they support what she did. I'm going to jump in here and let the, and let the but lone man. she's not running in Alaska. She's not running in Alaska. I'm going to let the lone man have a word. Because, David, because she's not running in Alaska. And you've got to give David a word. Go ahead. I think this exchange just shows what a wonderful uniter. Um, Sarah Palin is. Look, if this is the effect she has on Republicans, this is not what you need. Uh, this is uh, the, the Republican Party right now faces a couple of burdens. We know from the Bush years that we were seen, and I'm speak as a Republican, as not competent, not effective. So we better find somebody who is seen as competent and effective. And a governor quit because she said, I can't get my agenda through the state legislature. It's harder to get things through Congress. She's not going to be much of a president. We're going to have to leave it there. A heated and, and exciting and interesting discussion as always. I appreciate the three of you being with us. And Coulter, David from yeah. Bay Buchanan. Uh, this is not the last time I have a feeling we'll be discussing this. <laughs>